What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyler Bentley. I'm the owner founder of The Rise Hunt. I hate having to say that every time, but there's a lot of new people that jump in the channel and don't know who we are, what we're doing. Uh, we're The Rise Hunt. We're a bow hunting film series and we do a semi-live segment series throughout the entire fall. Uh, so during the current fall, 2024, we're going to drop new segments throughout the year. Myself and my team are going to be traveling all over the Midwest hunting whitetail uh, with a bow and arrow. So if that's something you're into, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow along with us this fall because there's a lot of really cool hunts coming up. If you're new here, like I said, jump back. And we have six seasons of this. We've been doing this for a while, and uh, it's pretty cool. This is actually a 10-year anniversary for the Rise Hunt, so it's a big milestone for us this year that we've been doing this this long. Uh, it's pretty cool to think about how far we came and where we started. And, and really it wouldn't be without you guys, you know, the viewers and the people that have supported us, uh, our partners. And yeah, we got a long way to go. We're just extremely humbled and grateful. So with that being said, let's let's play a little 10 year montage clip. We'll, we'll edit something up. Hope you guys enjoyed that that's uh it's pretty close to home there there's some sentimental hunts some sentimental memories and uh that's what the rises became it's like this big digital scrapbook like every deer i've shot and this is not to gloat has been on film other than you know my first deer when i was a child so um and i haven't killed hundreds of bucks like a lot of these guys but every deer i have shot with a bow or gun has been on video it's kind of something i do for myself as well as for the viewers is i can go back and Instead of saying, hey, uh, yeah, I shot this one buck and tell you the story, let me show you the video. Let me show you 4K footage of me shooting this deer with my bow and arrow or me missing it, shooting over its back or whatever. You know, sometimes mistakes happen. That being said, today we're doing some food plots. We're gonna transition over, get everything loaded up. Ranger on the trailer, hooked to the truck. We got a lot of spraying we gotta do. We got a big day ahead of us. Yeah, we're gonna get going, so here we go. All right, guys, 
here we are. We're out on the Michigan farm today and we're going to be spraying some soybeans. I got about a two acre soybean plot here that's all electrical fenced to keep the deer out this time of year from the browse pressure is just absolutely crazy. And then I got about another half acre acre on this side that is not fenced so you can see the difference right off the rip how much they're eating this compared to how much they're eating this. And uh, keeping, keeping this electrical fence and keeping the deer out until I want them to eat it is gonna be huge. Another half an acre here, this one is super light. But this is a white gold green monster little border here. It went in super late, it got one rain on it and it's already growing pretty well. So I'll probably let that get about 24 inches tall or so and then I'll come back in and hit it with some nitrogen. It's really gonna boost it up. Even if it doesn't get full height, and let's say it gets four feet, six feet, eight feet at best, that's still good. It's gonna give these deer a nice little buffer, which they really love. We got the redneck set up over here, two acre soybean field, and this is just some bonus soybean stuff over here on the, on the side. So this is probably the best soybean year I've had since 2019, I think, is the year that I killed my last buck out here. Uh, it's a buck I named Loki. So I'm just putting in the work right now in the summer to do everything that I can to try to better my odds this fall. If there's anything I can do to better my chances, I had the ability, I'm not afraid to work, spend a little bit of time. It's Saturday, it's gonna be 90 degrees today. I could be sitting by the pool, but instead, I'm gonna sweat through this t-shirt, put the effort in, and know that when I'm sitting out here, this fall, I did everything I can in my ability to uh, get a crack at this buck. That's the plan for today. We are spraying um, some Roundup on all of these to get the weeds out of the soybeans. And then also I got a little bit of fertilizer mixed in too. So it's gonna kill the weeds. It's gonna fertilize the beans. So it's kind of like a little twofer. And then secondly, we're gonna go over to the next plot, but let's knock this one out and then we'll go there. finished up spraying this big food plot. This is a little plot I call Thor plot. I've been hunting this farm for 15, 16 years here. We used to have a big buck named Thor that kind of was always in this area. Today, like I said, just kind of spraying this plot off, getting ready to kill it. I'm gonna come in here later, probably a couple weeks, road till the whole food plot, plant some brassicas. I'm gonna do some, some white gold. I heard uh, something recently on a video I watched. I think it was Jared Mills. It was like a Midwest USA YouTube video. I just clicked this suggested video and he talked about planting clover and, and how to convert your plot to clover. And what he says is he'll plant it in brassicas and then he'll give it a full dose of clover. That's kind of what I'm thinking about doing this year because I'd like to convert this, this big plot to clover, but I want to have brassicas in it this fall. Get it all sprayed off, come back in here in a couple weeks, make sure it's nice and dead. Rototill everything, call it to pack it with a Packer Max. So I'm gonna seed it in brassicas. I'm also gonna give it a full dose of clover, triple 19 and a little bit of lime. So I'm gonna do that here. And this is kind of cool because it kind of pinches all the way through here and goes right out to the big soybean plot. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to shape it. Did I want to plant the whole thing or did I kind of want to, almost want to funnel this all right towards that big bean field. And then back behind me the opposite way, I got about an acre to two acres of, um, it's all like clear cut hinge cut, just a big giant bedding area. That's where I actually almost killed Drax last year. I was sitting in that clear cut and he'd come through. I got really close to killing him. Yeah, this is just uh, part of the process here on the Michigan farm, the terrible 20 that I call it. It's not terrible, it's just kind of funny to call it that. It's super, super sandy. So naturally the pH is um, way off. So I'll try to hit it with a lot of lime, try to get that pH right. And then obviously fertilize the, the heck out of it, trying to get stuff to grow. So. We still got time. Like I said, it's uh, middle of July right now, and this is the the last food plot I got to do here on the Michigan property. The beans are all sprayed. Everything looks good over there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be loading up, ripping over to Zach's. And yeah, that's. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Not nothing too crazy happening. Just kind of trying to get some content out to you guys. So if you guys are enjoying this, hit that like button, and uh, we'll get on to the next food plot.
build that plot. Finally making it happen. It's July 15th today. It's almost seven o'clock. It's still about 100 degrees out. We always say the hunt doesn't start October 1st, obviously. We, we can't preach it enough. Uh, the hard hours start in July. All the work is should be done well before season. So that's what we're out here doing today. We worked all day. Now we're out here. Tyler just met me. He just got out of work. I said, hey, today's the day. So he met me over here. Now we're uh, about to make it happen. And, uh, I can show you guys my farm. You guys have not seen. So let's go, uh, let's get it done. Move the food plot to this side a little bit more. I'd like to, I'd like to hug this corn right here. Look at this corn already. Oh, that's great. It's tall. Yeah, it's July fifteenth. Last week it was supposed to be knee high. It's <laughs> ten foot tall. Yeah, that's great. What I got here, I got about. It's a twenty acre permission piece. A lot of our spots are small parcels here in Michigan. And besides Nick, I think Nick Nick's sitting on the ranch, you know. <laughs> But uh, us other guys, we got small parcels of land we hunt. This is a 20 acre spot, and probably seven of it is huntable. So, I kill these big bucks right by people's houses. Which they love. Yeah, which they love. But I told them I'm only shooting the, the mature ones. Anyways, I was wanting to move the stand into this into these tall trees I got over here. And I was gonna put food on this side of the stand, right behind, right, right here, right where we drove. And I was gonna bring the food, like I'm saying, I'm, I'm thinking, stand in here, in this thick stuff, looking over this food on this side, and then putting food on this side as well. And I'm hunting just over these, little, these trees right here. They're like probably 10, 12 foot, little trees and in the fall they die right down my my 20 acre permission is sitting right next to an 80 acre wooded lot here um, as far as I know I don't think anyone's hunting over there I don't I'm not really sure I only worry about what, what I'm what I'm doing here and uh, yeah so today we're just gonna kill two nice big squares about a quarter acre over here quarter acre over here and uh, come back in two weeks probably turn the dirt over and put some uh, seed down. All right. So we just got done spraying. It's about eight o'clock. Took us about an hour and a half, so not too bad. So we end up scratching that whole first plan of putting the, the blind in this group of trees. We end up putting the food plot on the east side. So last year, I planted, I planted all, all, all of this. It's, it's, it's probably about three acres of food. This year, I'm not doing it so much. So this year, we end up going about 50 yards off the wood line over here. Put a, probably about an... 80 yard stretch, maybe 100 yards. We're gonna put clover and brassicas in there. Off of this wood line right here, we did the same thing. We came about 50 yards out by about you know 80 yards. So we basically, what we did is we made like an L. And uh, the reason why we did that is because last year, and I expect it to be the same this year, a lot of our deer travel was from, coming from across the road. And um, if you look at on, on a map, Actually, we'll pull up a map right now and show you. But they, they cross from this big timber piece. They come through this ag field, and they cross, and they, they stay on this line right here, this tree line. So this year I wanted to hunt more on this side. I hunted last year in the interior of this field. This year I'm going to put a lot of my focus and energy on this side. So, yeah, we, uh, we set up the plot for a, a cold front wind. I usually only hunt this spot on cold fronts. I follow along the red moon too, so I'll, some, I'll get some red moon hunts out here. I want this wind coming out of the woods, out of this timber, and these deer to come in and eat this this food. And I'm going to put my blind about right here. So, 
So yeah, so this is step one of getting some food out here. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Maybe subscribe. We appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned. We got more videos coming at you.